is episode 30. Damn. Alrighty team, looks like we're up to episode 30 of the best Nova Launcher setups, which is pretty crazy. But yet again, we've got another three really fun and unique setups primed and ready for exposure in today's episode. As always, links to everything that you need to get these setups loaded onto your own devices have been included down in the notes below. But with that said, let's dive straight in. All right, so first up today is a setup I'm dubbing Android 12 Blue. And as that name indicates, it is a setup inspired heavily from the recent Android 12 update announced at Google I.O. This is a Nova Launcher based setup sent in by Hattie, a longtime contributor to the show. So without further ado, let's unpack each of the various elements on show. Now that wallpaper is actually a very minimal backdrop that comes from the Ripple's wallpaper telegram group. I'll leave a link to that below, but as you can see, it just consists of this pale blue gradient backdrop along with this really nice circle drop shadow type vector in the middle there. As I said, really nice. And that circle vector is what has been used to determine the scale and position of this clock widget. And this one, along with every other widget in this setup has been taken from the Android 12 widget pack for KWGT. What's awesome about this widget pack is that every single widget automatically themes itself according to your chosen wallpaper, which is incredible. Now that clock widget is widget 04, but then moving up to the top, and here we have widget 65 from the same widget pack. It is a date and weather widget, along with a little profile picture up the top. You do obviously have to go into this widget and over to the global section to change the profile picture to your own image, but that's not a super complicated process. Then back to the home screen and below that clock widget is a music player widget. This one is widget 17, and this was actually the only one that needed some form of customization to ensure that the background color matched the other widgets. By default, it will actually follow the color of the album artwork for whichever song you're currently playing instead. To do this, you need to first jump into the clock widget, then over to the globals page, tap the top setting here and select everything and hit copy. Then back into the music player widget, tap on the overlap group here, then the top shape layer, come over to paint, tap the color formula and paste it in. All right, from there, the last widget on our homepage here is widget 70 from the Android 12 widget pack and nothing needs customizing here except for the sizing perhaps, depending on your phone. And I've got to say, even though there are a bunch of widgets on this home screen, the fact that all of the colors have been updated to reflect the overall theme and colorway, and even just the design of the widgets themselves means this home screen still looks incredibly visually pleasing. And to quickly show you the app drawer, you can see the background has been modified to match the home screen colorway accordingly. And the icons have been taken from the Zwart icon pack, which looks pretty decent. Aside from that though, that's it for a really nice home screen setup sent in by Hattie. Okay, next up is a two page Nova Launcher setup submitted by Sumit. This one's a little different than the other two featured in today's episode, but it's still no doubt an impressive setup that is sure to please a bunch of you. As always, starting with that wallpaper, I'm not actually too sure where this wallpaper was originally sourced from, but Sumit did send through the direct link, which I will also include down in the notes below. But it's this cool looking artwork of this astronaut figure lying on some patterned asphalt. And I feel like all of the other widgets and icons used within this setup go really well with this so-called astronaut theme. And speaking of widgets, up the top is a status bar widget. It's widget 017 from the Radish for KWGT widget pack. Looks pretty good. And then below that is a date, day, time, and battery status widget, which aside from that wallpaper is really the main attraction of this home screen. This one has come from the dot for KWGT widget pack, and it is widget 042. Now below that we have eight application icons laid out in a two by four configuration. These are all using icons from the Reeve Light icon pack. And what's cool is that a bunch of them are actually just folders, which adds in a nice bit of functionality. All right, that's it for page one. So swapping over to page two and would you look at that transition? Very fancy. Now, in the middle on this second page, we actually have that same triangle widget from the first page, which I guess is used to have some sort of consistency between the two pages. But then above that is a really sleek looking weather widget, which has come from the Waffle KWGT widget pack. This one is widget 135, but keep in mind, a bunch of the original elements have been deleted, resulting in what you can see here. 
Now coming down below from there, and here we have a really nice looking music player widget from the Sheer KWGT widget pack. It is widget 083, and I've got to say, I really like the unique style of this music player widget. But then finally, below that is a dock of app icons, which is actually just a self-contained widget itself. This one is also from the Sheer KWGT widget pack, and it is widget 20. So that's it for our two home screen pages. Quickly taking a glance at the app drawer, nothing too special about this one. We've got folders up the top and a search bar down the bottom. And so that's it. Well done, Sumit. And now onto setup number three. And finally today, we have this beautifully vibrant setup sent in by Paul. It's also been created using Nova Launcher and boy oh boy, is it a goodie. So to start, that wallpaper comes from the Gladiant Icon Pack, which is also where the icons come from themselves. More on that later. But it is this really nice purple gradient backdrop that looks fantastic. It's actually been set up as a KLWP wallpaper, which will make more sense as to why that is the case in a minute. But then on top of that, we have two KWGT widgets that Paul created himself. Firstly, we have a transparent card style widget. And then on top of that is another widget packed to the brim with a whole bunch of goodies. So we've got a little status bar at the top, then a welcome message, then the date just below that. And then we have a bunch of these card style widgets. So we've got a time card, a weather card, a music player card, and a little icon card here as well. And keep in mind that bottom card is just a blank white rounded rectangle and the icons on top are actual icons. They're not embedded into the widget. Now that does mean that you may have to slightly adjust the Y positioning of all of the various widget elements to make sure that the card lines up with the icons. But once it's all in place, it looks great. Now what's really cool is that when you hit play on the music player widget, or you've just got music playing in general, the wallpaper changes to match the album artwork. And this is why the backdrop has been set using KLWP. And you know what? I really like the look of the blurred album artwork as the backdrop as well. And I think it just goes to show that this setup with all of those cards and whatnot is super versatile and will work with just about any backdrop that you like. Now, as mentioned, the icons here come from the Gladiant icon pack, which I think suits this setup perfectly. And a few of these icons also have secondary actions and open up other apps when you swipe up on them, which is a handy piece of functionality. But swiping up and into the app drawer, and here you get to appreciate that purple backdrop along with the Gladiant icon pack a little more. And again, I think these two look really great in combination together. But that's it for this really impressive Nova Launcher setup sent in by Paul. Mate, fantastic effort. And that is it for today's episode. Now, keep an eye out on the channel because as we speak, I'm currently working on a separate standalone video that will showcase the entire process of setting up Hattie's setup as showcased in today's video. Now you could of course just download the backup file, which along with everything else mentioned throughout this video has been linked down in the description below. But if you wanna see what it's like to create one of these setups from scratch, or you're just struggling to get all of the layers sized up and positioned correctly, then make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out when I release that episode very soon. As always, let me know which setup featured in today's video was your favorite and why down in the comments below. And if you'd like to have your own home screen setup featured in this series, then you can check out the submission video also linked below. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.